Hey guys, it's Gary from Creeley Blades. I want to introduce you to a new steel on the market. It's called MagnaCut. And, uh, you know, at Creeley Blades, one of the big things for me and the company is new steels, new technology in material science uh, and the metallurgy of it. And this is a new steel uh, put together by Dr. Laren Thomas working with CPM. And uh, this is a very, very interesting new stainless steel. And I want to introduce it to you, tell you a little bit about it. Uh, I have a sheet of it on the way for myself. And uh, I'm by no means the ultimate authority on these things, but I just want to highlight some of the high points of the steel for you. So here are the headlines, and, and we'll dig into these a little bit. Toughness and edge retention that matches CPM 4V. That's good. Stain resistance equal to 20 CV and S45VN. Good. Those are sort of top stainless steels until you get into the LC200s and Vanex of the world. Uh, reaches 64 Rockwell. That's pretty high. Uh, fine microstructure. So we're going to take a look at all these things. A wide, uh, a wide range of heat treatment options to the knife makers uh, around that would also be of interest too. So when it comes to steel, uh, I think about desirable steel qualities in a three-legged stool sort of analogy. Edge retention, toughness, and corrosion resistance. If you get more of one, you will get less of another. It's kind of like, let's just say those are 30-inch uh, legs. So you have 90 inches total, and you can put 30 in each one, or you can put 20 in two of them and 50 in another, or 60. <laughs> get my math right. But no matter what you do, uh, you know, you kind of give and take. But every so often, some steels come along, especially some of these nitrogen steels, and, and, and some... Uh, some of the powder technology and other things really just add length to the legs. Uh, they add points to the board when it comes to the performance of steels. So that's sort of the backdrop for this the, this steel and, and, and what we're getting to. So the elements in here are um, interesting. So you have relative to new modern high edge holding steels, a relatively low amount of carbon, lower. Uh, Certainly, as it relates to stainless steels, uh, 10.7, uh, which, you know, a lot of people wouldn't even qualify it as stainless uh, with that number. Although that's sort of uh, an antiquated way to look at whether something's stainless by simply measuring the chrome content. That's more complicated uh, than that. You got two of uh, molybdenum, four of vanadium, that's a healthy amount of vanadium, two of niobium, that's a very healthy amount of niobium, and 0.2 of nitrogen. Now this is percentage by weight, keep in mind nitrogen's uh, pretty light, so that's actually a fair amount of nitrogen in there. If we look at the toughness, and toughness is kind of a confusing, uh, it's kind of can be a little bit of a confusing because there's multiple things that get lumped in when we talk about the toughness of the steel, this is specifically the toughness. But um, one of the things about toughness is it allows you to be more aggressive with your edge geometry. So toughness can almost affect edge holding in the sense that you can put a more aggressive geometry on a blade and it will allow it to cut more effectively for longer because of that geometry. Uh, and you can get away with that geometry when you have tougher steels. So, for instance, ZDP-189 all the way down on the bottom right, not so tough. Uh, but you see Magna Cut there, and it's among the tougher stainless steels available, especially uh, when you consider some of the other attributes it has in terms of corrosion resistance and edge holding. Uh, one steel I just want to mention for honorable mention here in this video is AEBL. AEBL is actually, when you look at how it performs in any number of ways, is a really fantastic steel. A lot of custom knife makers use it, and for good reason. But anyway, moving on, here are non-stainless high alloy steels in terms of toughness. It is difficult to beat uh, 3V. 3V is a really tough steel. Z-tough, even a little tougher. Uh, but when you get down to some uh, more common steels, you'll see that this stainless steel is tougher than A2. You know, people tell you, well, A2 is a really tough steel. Well, maybe not. Uh, 1095 is not on this chart, uh, but I would 
suspect it would be below uh, it would be below uh, Magna Cut in terms of toughness, but it's it's pretty respectable toughness. In other words, there's not too many applications where this would not be of adequate toughness to do pretty well. So moving on to corrosion resistance, uh, this is a uh, a quality of steels that the longer I do this and and the longer I make knives, the more I appreciate. I'm, uh, I do appreciate the carbon steels. There's a nostalgia to it. There's an ease to work with them. But um, stainless is really nice. Uh, there's nothing worse than when you make a blade and if it gets some moisture on it and it rusts. Well, here, here you see a bunch of steels lined up. ZDP, even though it has an enormous amount of chromium in it, is not very uh, stain resistant, partly because it gets chewed up by all the carbon. But you can look around here and you can see that uh, moving to the left... New steel is the Magna Cut, by the way. Um, I mean, it's pretty pretty similar to 20 CV, uh, which is very highly stainless. Although 20 CV uh, is not very tough, so you're getting the stainlessness and the tough toughness, and probably 80% of the edge holding, which is our next slide. Uh, as we move in, now on this chart, I don't see 20 CV, but uh, 204P is an analog. I believe of 20 CV and M390. So there you see that. Uh, so yeah, Magna Cut's a little below it, but what, 10, 15, 12%, something like that. Uh, so so the Magna Cut now comes down a little bit if you only take it to 61. But you know, if you bring it all the way out to that, that high point, you're getting some pretty respectable uh, edge retention with crew wear, similar to Vanix, uh, although not at the same hardness, but I don't think Vanix gets that hard. Uh, SG2, 4V. So these are respectable. These aren't off the charts. Uh, edge holding numbers. Uh, you know, you get up into here, uh, you know, like ZDP 189 has, a, has some more edge retenting, maybe a third as much, a third more, I mean. But at the same time, you're giving up toughness, you're giving up corrosion resistance. Of course, Rex, the all-time champ out here, uh, Tons, tons of edge holding, but very little in the way of toughness. And I can tell you from firsthand experience, very little in the way of corrosion resistance. So um, for a steel that has those other two qualities, uh, I think this is very impressive. I think this is very, very impressive. Uh, you, you know, it's not quite as tough as 3V, but it holds an edge longer than 3V. And it's more, much more corrosion resistant. So that's the edge retention piece. Uh, just to take a peek at the microstructure here, here is Magna Cut over here in the bottom left. Uh, you see it it has a pretty consistent fine uh, mi microstructure. And if I'm reading the article correctly that Laren wrote, I believe the bigger pieces are the vanadium carbides and the smaller ones are the niobium carbides. Uh, if I'm wrong, let me know in the comments. I'm sure you will. Uh, this is Vanix, very consistent, also very fine grain. But, you know, Vanix is a pretty very expensive steel. Uh, per pound, maybe double or more what Magna Cut is. Uh, so, and also kind of hard to source. And, you know, it is what it is. S30V here, you know, a standard. I mean, comparatively much coarser grain. And then over here, much, much coarser grain, CPM 154. So this means that th that is in part where the strength and toughness is coming from, this fine grain structure. It also means when you're working it as a maker and the finishes on it, they're going to finish really nice. And if you're somebody who likes to sharpen, uh, I feel like the these fine grain structures are going to allow for very, very fine and extremely high sharpness. So that's the steel. Magna Cut, I think it's super cool. I'm looking forward to working with it. I have a sheet of it coming. And I hope this gives you a quick introduction and gives you a sense when you see that name now what that steel is all about. Thanks for watching and I look forward to seeing you on the next one.